What up guys? We're playing with a new deck today and I'm like super, super excited. But I was shuffling for the collective and I just kept hearing all passion, no energy, all passion, no energy, all passion, no energy the entire time. And it keeps pulling me to this, this king of wands out here on this table. And it keeps pulling me to the, to the lion that's depicted in the background. And it's pulling me to that fire, to that, to that Aries, like that Leo kind of an energy, but I'm not, I'm not meaning that you're an Aries or a Leo. I'm just saying it's like that strength and that passion, that inner flame that's burning inside of somebody right now, but like zero energy to do anything about it. And I feel like it's just because you've sat in a space for so long that hasn't been accommodating for you. It hasn't been accommodating for you at all. And I feel as though, I feel as though it almost has hindered you. I want to call you a very deep person. I want to say deep because they have you out here as a king of cups. However, I want to tell you that you haven't been nourished. I want to tell you that nobody's filled your cups for a while. I want to tell you that you struggle to keep your head above water sometimes. And it's not that you don't want to do things. And it's not that you can't cultivate the energy. It's that the second you get it, it's like somebody takes the wind right out of your sails. That's the way I want to say it. And I feel like you're isolated and I feel like you're disconnected. I want to use the word landlocked. And because I have all this water energy out on the table, I want to say that you're misunderstood. I want to say that you're not always given the space to breathe the way you need to breathe. Like, I want to tell you to go get out to go get out in nature. I want to tell you to go go seek out water. You've been landlocked for too long. You've been isolated. And I feel like somebody thinks this isolation is part of this hermit. I feel like they're disguising it as hermit mode. But I want to tell you it's not. I want to tell you it's not. I want to tell you every time with all of your passion and your ha ha and your like drive to do something different, to try something new, to try to break out of your funk, you want to do it with the people around you and they don't want to do it with you. I want to tell you they don't want to collaborate with you. I want to tell you they, they're not celebrating with you. They're not excited when you get bursts of energy. They're not. It they. It's like, it's like it's a competition is the way that I want to say it. You get an idea about something and someone's right there snatching it from you. And I feel like when you engaged in this type of a, of a I'm going to call it relationship, whether it be a platonic, romantic, or just work relationship, it's like you were kind of naive. You kind of took something at face value. You didn't do much investigation. You kind of led with the best of intentions, but like not a single thought. And you almost fell in love with the potential. And I just feel like, I just, I just feel like with this, with this card out here, I'm, I just feel as though you got everything you wanted and you're not happy. That's the way that I want to say it. You got everything you wanted and you're just not happy. You got everything you wanted and you're just not happy. But I feel as though you're in the moment of change. I feel as though that you are pressing forward into something way, way bigger than you. <laughs> Tower card for confirmation. You got what you wanted and you weren't happy. Confirmation. And I, as we say, we feel like we're pressing forward. I literally have the page of wands, the four of wands, the ace out here of swords. And I just feel like this 10 of swords in this deck, which I don't have the book for, but in this deck, I really do feel like based on the images here, that it has a lot to do with you moving forward. And all of the crows makes me feel like you're following spirit's lead. Even though tens are about burdens and oppression and all the things you've been carrying, I almost feel like it's the opposite. I feel like you're letting it go. I feel like you're releasing the burden and you're moving on. I feel like you're letting go. And I feel like that's why I have this ace out here. And I feel like that's part of why this world card is out here. It's having learned the lesson. It's completion. I want to tell you you're far more connected than you could even imagine. Wouldn't I just say you learned the lesson and literally the Hierophant card comes out? Literally the Hierophant card comes out. I just want to tell you that you've learned the lesson and you want to work with people. 
<laughs> the three of pentacles. You want to physically work with others. You're ready to collaborate. And this move for you into a place of strength. Weren't we just talking about the lion? Wait a minute. We were just talking about the lion in the background of this card. For it to come out on half of your face is you owning it now. I want to tell you, you found your energy. You found your strength to make it what you want to make it. To make it better. To do what you want to do. You have plenty of ideas and you're putting them into action. You are giving them a life. You are creating them. You are weaving them into your world, into your destiny, into what you want to do. And you're finding people who want to do it with you. This is part of that higher font. This no better, do better. This is part of your de-isolation is the way that I want to call it. Like it's giving Stockholm Syndrome vibes. Like to where it's like you like start rationalizing with your captor. And like to where it's just like, oh yeah, no, this makes sense. And you started to dim yourself and you're at the point where you're busting the fuck out of this hermit mode. Because you have made excuses that this was your self-healing time when it really wasn't. You have adopted other people's problems so much more than you should have. And it's written all over the table. This is your justice moment. This is your balanced moment. I didn't even know we had this card on the table when I tossed. This is your balanced moment. You see the reflection? The inside of you is beginning to be mirrored on the outside now and you're taking physical, tangible action. And I feel like this is that step forward. I feel like this is that move forward. This is that brand new beginning. You are putting your ideas and your passions into play. You're no longer repeating a cycle. It's now a spiral. You are ascending upward. You are ascending upwards now is the way that I want to say it. That's it. Okay, further confirmation. Like, further confirmation. Breaking out of conflict, strife, and heartache. And literally, literally into your nine of pentacles. Into your fulfillment. Your physical fulfillment. Your physical know better, do better. Into all of the things that you actually want to do. Congratulations. It gets better. It gets better. The second you choose something different, it gets better.